You guys have never heard of him, which you, him, her. So that baby was called the Yuan Van Van. And that brings us to the end of this haul. And also, I would like to show you this. Ah! Greetings and salutations. My name is Oracult and welcome to my sanctuary. To those of you new here, you're very, very welcome. I hope you like it here and stick around. Subscribe to the channel, like my videos, leave me comments down below. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so, so much for all the support. Loving all the comments, loving chatting to you guys, so keep them coming. And if you're not a subscriber, but returning to the channel, please do subscribe, it really helps me out. Thank you. Finally, finally, what we will be doing today is first of all we will rep beast wars the band which is an amazing band from new zealand if you guys have never heard of them i don't blame you they are pretty limited to new zealand especially with covid they have done i think a tour or two of europe and australia or something like that but these guys are just they're unbelievable they are super unbelievable so that is their first album cover print, which is absolutely sensational. It's by the artist called Nick Keller, who actually was one of the many, many, many artists involved in Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit, etc. And he specializes in metal covers and especially The Dark Side. So that would be The Dark Side, isn't it stunning? And also we have over there, that's another print of theirs, which is like a poster of a show they did way, way back. And we have that autographed as well, because, you know, Wellington is a small town, <laughs> so people get to know each other and we're like huge, huge fans. So Beast Wars, check them out, you won't be sorry. So that was a very important message and do check them out. Anyway, now we will be doing a Killster haul! Finally, finally. I don't do them very often now. I do tend to buy more secondhand if I find it. And I have a few items spotted at the moment. I, I don't know if I'm gonna buy them yet, but I do shop around secondhand for them within the country mainly because it's really, really hard to get in and it's like gets really expensive. But there's this amazing place called True Shop, which is located in Kirov. If you don't know where that is, don't worry. I didn't know either, but they're really cool. They're called True Shop and they manage to ship things in. I don't know how, I don't ask. I just pay for it and I get it in. So I did a haul back on like my birthday, which was end of November and it finally arrived like mid January. So that's how long it takes now. But I had a few discounts going as well because that makes it kind of bearable, although it's really expensive. And now I will give you a very interesting task in the beginning of the video. Please think of the answer during the video. Which of the, the items that I show you is the most expensive in this haul? I will keep asking you so you remember. And in the end, I will tell you which one it is. And you will be absolutely amazed. Like, amazed. I couldn't believe it either. I looked at it and I went, surely. Uh, anyway, anyway, I will tell you later. So do keep watching. So I can't remember what sale this was in particular now because I don't know if they have the, I don't know, the pre-Halloween sale, the Halloween sale, the post-Halloween sale, the buy one, get one, I don't know, it's very, very confusing. So the item that I wanted when I was browsing the website, really, you know those big, beautiful dusters that are velvet with the hood and the cross? I have that in black and I have done it in a previous haul, like way, way back, but you barely wear it because it's very, very heavy, but it's not warm enough for certain occasions. And it's also not cool enough to wear at the gig as in temperature cool it looks really cool but you'll you'll die at the gig if you wear that so i can't quite find the occasion to wear it to but it's also available in red and this is so stunning but i thought really it's very expensive and if i get the same thing in red what are the chances if i don't wear the black one that i will wear the red one like that's even the slimmer chance. So I really wanted something in that red color though. So I got the Crimson Kiss dress. I'm just looking at what it's called there in Scarlet. And I got it in Excel. And it was in the sales and it is absolutely gorgeous. I think that's the back of it, sorry. That's the front of it. How pretty is that? And look, 
at these sleeves. That is just so flattering. And look at that. It's not like a really, really crazy sort of big sleeve, but it's still, you know, very pretty. And it has lace detail. The only thing I don't like about this, it has one of those buttons and this sort of stretchy buttonhole thing that are very hard to put on at the best of times. But apart from that, the color and the length of it is everything is absolutely perfect. I will be doing a try on. I got it in Excel just because of the bust sort of area. And this fits really nice. I, I really, really like it. I uh, this this is definitely more of a, an occasion sort of thing that I'd wear because we have an anniversary coming up and we have Valentine's Day coming up so that's definitely something to wear to one of those so yeah I'm very very happy with this this is beautiful next item is also a dress and also kind of on the romantic side although it's still strict enough to sort of wear to you know brunch with friends or even work potentially depending on you know how strict your work is because you do have like skull and bones here and you have a few pentagrams and actually when you kind of look at it it does tend to be slightly see-through not not too see-through if you're wearing all black under it uh, and sheer black tights i guess it won't matter really but it's absolutely beautiful i've been looking at it for quite some time this is called the pandora shirt dress and it's an xl and it kept coming in and out of stock it's a very popular model very popular i know a few people who have it it looks really beautiful on everyone and it's quite flattering it has a very high waist so you have the waist kind of just under your bust and even with my bust that fits okay so that's nice the sleeves have that sort of scrunched thing here so they're slightly puffy but not too puffy and also what it has is this hem that's kind of longer in the back but i'll show you that in the try on and shorter in the front it's really really nice i've already worn it actually yesterday to a dinner with friends and they really like the roses on it and just like the pattern and actually in the roses you can see there are little skulls as well but it's subtle enough to get away at you know almost i wouldn't say formal formal occasions like some offices but in general it's more of a business looking dress than obviously the red velvet one so i'm very pleased with this and it fits really nice as well we're gonna finish the clothes items first and again i remind you keep sort of occasionally thinking what is the most expensive item here is it this one is it that one because i will tell you at the end of the video and i'm sure you'll be surprised anyway this here is a nighty and i wanted a longer nighty with sleeves and this is perfect i really love the pattern and the sinister looking moons on it and it's actually quite long it's very stretchy, it's super soft, very comfy, but it has that sort of cool feel, feel to it as if it's probably like rayon. Let me just check the material. This is 95% modal. I don't even know what that is. And 5% elastane. But whatever it is, it's definitely like washable in the washing machine and stuff so that's fine anyway it's quite nice i can't wait to wear this but i haven't been taking the tags off or anything just to show you guys because the tags are really cool these are these sort of new new kinds of tags that they have i this is the first order i get with them so that's really cool it has a pentagram just there yeah if you can see that and it says, I don't think I had this before. I think I had it on a few items now. I think some of those items have it. It's not my fault. You thought I was normal. So that's pretty cool. Always nice to get a new funny quote from them. But this is really, really nice. So that's again going to be in the trial. And the last, well, it's the last item of clothing, clothing. There might be something else, but not, you know, uh, I, I don't know how to say this properly, so I'll just shut up. Anyway, so these are these pants. These are sort of lounge kind of pants. I don't think they cut it as sports pants, but they're quite cool. And they're in Excel. These are unisex, so this is slightly bigger than a normal sort of female Excel that they have. On one tag, it says, you don't need to conjure magic your magic, so that's very cute. And I think this is one of them. Yeah, it's not my fault you thought it was normal. This is made out of 100% cotton. That's a score, obviously, because that's always good to have it absolutely natural. It has pockets in the front, pockets in the back. It tells you everything you need to know when they make things unisex, don't they? They have pockets everywhere, the bastards. 
And another cool element is that here you have this very long sort of almost like a I don't know what to call it, like a ribbed kind of stretchy bit, which is longer than normal. It looks really cool, and especially if you're wearing like UGG type slippers or something, that's very easily sort of to fit into that. And I got this for the man, would you believe? Yeah, don't you make that face at me, sir, uh, because they're, they're really nice. I mean, maybe I will steal them, I don't know, but I think they're a bit too big for me. I think I finally, you know, slimmed out of the male excel at some stage, which I'm very happy about, so I am so somewhat tempted because I really like the pattern on them and ah, the name of them, of course. So this is from one of the newer collections. This is called, this is called Into the Woods Joggers. There's a whole range with this beautiful pattern. I think there's homewares and home decor and dresses and tops and all sorts of things. It's really, really nice. And it's not just the woods here, you see. I think there are little bats. Yes, if you look at the pattern just there, you can see there are little bats as well flying around, if you look at it closely. And again, it's quite subtle. It looks very, very nice. I really like them. Very good quality. Now we move on to other sort of wearable, more accessories type of things. So this is a absolutely gorgeous thing here. So this thing I wanted as soon as I saw it. It is, I warn you right now, it's ridiculous and highly impractical, and I've seen the reviews on it, I know it's impractical, but I mean, how could you not? How could you not get this most adorable little bat? It is the cutest thing ever. Look at the quality and the detail of that little face. And it is a little backpack, and it has the zip on the back there. And then it has the... I actually haven't checked, but I will need to put this on anyway for the try-on. It has the, the little straps you put onto it. And these are fully... Dead, so you can probably wear it as a handbag as well, if you attach them just to the top. And you can also wear it as a backpack, because there's two straps that you get. That is really cool. And I hear you can't fit much into it, but... but you can check the sizing on the website, and I'll put it under the video as well. But I don't think this backpack is for... I think it's more of a statement kind of bag, rather than actually practically trying to carry anything in it. More of a, you know, go to an event where you don't really need many things anyway. But it is the most cute thing ever. Look how cute it is. It's beautiful. I love it. I will also attach the straps and put it in the try-on as well. So that baby was called the Vamped Up Backpack, and as soon as it appears, I think it usually sells out. I don't know, I think people might have calmed down now, because I managed to get it on sale as well. So that's pretty cool. And the next clothing type accessory is, of course, shoes. Now there's so many shoes that they've released that are absolutely stunning, and a lot of them are boots, and a lot of them look amazing, and they have these new patterns that they've now transferred onto their shoes, and they have all the magic buckles and the platforms, and but frankly, I have a lot of Killstar boots. I have the Oracle Originals, the Wedge, I have the Broom Riders in black, in pink, I have the... I don't know, I just have a lot of shoes. I have shoe videos that I'll link up as well. Like, I have a lot of Killstar shoes, so I just can't really justify buying another pair of Killstar boots unless I really, 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 really love them. And I liked a few of them, but I just... I couldn't. I just couldn't justify it. So, what I did want, though, is something to wear during the summer when it's ridiculously hot. And for that purpose, I wanted a pair of sandals. And I really, really like that sort of cut-out detail in platforms, and I already have the Dawn Wedge boots with the moon cut into them. I think it's the most beautiful and great idea ever. So, I got shoes like this that they released fairly recently. They released a whole bunch of them, like sneakers and more sort of ankle boots and stuff. But I got this stunner of a, again, sort of wedged sandal with the moon in it. 
Look, you can see my finger. It's so cute. They are so nice and they look very comfortable. They look fully adjustable. I haven't actually tried them on yet, but I'll do the try on as well. But I'm a perfect size, I think in Killstar, I'm a perfect US 8, which is European 39. Strangely enough, Demonia and any sort of doll skill type brand, I'm a US 9. Because I've made the mistake once for trying a US 8 there, same as Killstar, that didn't work out. I don't know why, but that's just a fact. Like, I can't get Demonias under US 9, it just doesn't work, so pff, I don't know. But these are super cute, and also, on the, oh, the insole here, it says, I'd rather die on my feet than live on my knee. Also, they've misspelled rather, they've missed out the E. I just noticed. Well, yeah, it's just, if you can see that through there, that's quite funny. Anyway, they're really, really cool. They look comfy, so I will do a try on of those. And these are called Deva, Deva Sandal, that's what it's called. And now we move off clothes, finally, to various bits and pieces and a piece of nice home decor as well. So bits and pieces thing. We got the Coven Cosmetics lipstick, which is the liquid ones they did. This is the first release they did of Coven. I have their sort of more wearable dusk, kind of rose dusk kind of color as well. The quality was very good, so I thought I'd try the black one because also it was on sale. The black one is called Void, and it's this beautiful, beautiful packaging. And as I said, the quality of that one was quite impressive, so I thought I'd give it a go. I might do like a black lipsticks video because I have quite a few. Like, for example, the one I'm wearing is actually not even like a proper liquid matte lipstick. When I do a video, I don't actually want something that lasts like for gazillion years and it's hard to take off, especially if I'm not going anywhere after that, which I'm not today. And this one is called in the shade Hello Boys. This is from ColourPop and it's called Fresh Kiss Lip Cream. And this was one of those Hocus Pocus collections that they did. This is really, really pretty. It was a really, really nice collection. I think they've released another one since, but again, I just have so many now that I can't really justify getting any more. But this is nice to have, not just a matte black that is really hard to take off, but something you can just wipe off later. So that's pretty cool. So I will test out the Coven, which I do think is a more long lasting one. So that's more for like gigs and events and things like that. But I do sort of always look for lipsticks that don't dry my lips out too much. So I'm very keen to check that one out. And next we have this crawly ice cube tray. I mean, how freaking cute is that? It has spider webs and spiders and you put water in it and then you put it in the freezer and you get really spooky ice cubes. I mean, what a great idea. I think they've done something like that before. I don't know what it was of. If I find it, I'll link it down below as well, but this, <laughs> this is really cool. So this is 100% silicone, this is BPA free, and it's flexible for easy release. It is very, 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 very bendy, so that's really cool. And of course on the back it has this absolutely stunning haunted homeware sort of thing that they put on all their homeware items, so I love that, that is really nice. And the other thing I got was, I already have one set of their cookie cutters, to be fair, I haven't used them. I almost came close to using them on Christmas, Western Christmas Day, but we sort of did other things and then we got really tired and then we were like, yeah, now nah, we'll, we'll do cookies at another time. So we'll do it for some other occasion. But I thought I'd get more of these. So when we do get to it, we might as well use, you know, six shapes instead of three. And these are super cute. So there's a ghost, a haunted house and the moon. And the other ones I have, I think is like a crystal ball and the Book of Spells or something like that. I really like them, they're very, very cute. So this is suitable for both edible and non-edible materials, including cookie dough, sugar paste, fondant, 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 marzipan, and craft clays. Tools used with food products should be kept separate from those used with non-food materials, e.g. craft clay. So this is called the Spooktacular Cookie Cutters, and they're super cute. Like, look at them, very cute. So we will definitely use these. And last but not least, I got this baby, which is the Cathedral Shelf. 
They also had a cathedral, I think, like glass sort of case, but I don't think it was actually very big. I did like it a lot. I thought it was absolutely stunning. And I think since then they might have had the coffin one as well, but I could be wrong. But yeah, I've always, always liked this and I thought I'd grab it this time. And again, it has the sort of Killstar homewares thing on the back. And you can actually probably just even get away with standing it up. And yeah, or you can hang it obviously, or you can use that just to secure it if you're putting it on something. So that's really, really, really nice. And it's actually quite big. And you can put quite a lot of things on it, which is nice. I don't know, maybe perfumes or crystals or whatever, or you know, lipsticks. So that, that's pretty cool. And it's quite sturdy actually, and it is weighty. So yeah, if you're, you know, wondering how big it is, it's quite big. Because I think the glass cathedral thing was actually quite small. This thing is massive, so yeah, if you're interested, there you go. But I'm sure they have the sizing. The sizing though, when I read it, I don't quite understand it. It's always good to see somebody show it, so I can actually imagine it better as to, you know, what, what the size reference is. So I hope this is helpful. So True Shop always sends on the cute Killstar envelope and in it they always put, I think it's an actual sticker of their logo. So that's very, very cute. We have a suitcase we put stickers on, so we will definitely put it on there. And they send a bunch of other stickers and this time they're particularly lovely, so I have to show them. They're very, very pretty and witchy. How stunning is that one? I don't know whose artwork this is or where they get them from, but this is just incredible. Look at that. How amazing. And here are the last two as well. I mean, wow. Very, very cool. And they sent me a personal discount of 5% for my next order, which I will definitely use because I have a few items I want to get from there. Like I want a cute, I have a lot of really big mugs. And since my friends got me a coffee machine for my birthday, I really want like a smaller, elegant kind of cup that Killstar tends to do as well to put my coffee in because the coffee machine doesn't make my size coffee. It makes good coffee, but it makes like a tiny amount as opposed to, you know, half a liter that I normally drink if it's instant. So that is probably something I might get from them as well. Anyway, that was the haul. We'll go to the try-on now. We will be back and I will ask you all the questions again then.
So I hope you enjoyed the video, that was the try-on. Let me know below which item was your favorite. I think mine, probably in this haul, is either... I, it's really hard to say, but I'm quite taken by the red velvet dress, just because I didn't have a red dress ever, I think. Especially such a beautiful velvet one. But I really do like the nighty and the other dress and the shoes and everything in the whole, really. So yeah, do let me know. And did you happen to guess which was the most expensive item in the haul? Do you think it was the backpack or the shoes or what? Well, it was neither of them. It was actually, actually, it was the sweatpants, would you believe? I couldn't believe it. When I put it in the cart, it just went whoop. I went, sorry, what? And apparently, so without the sale, whatever sale was on then, this was, because this was from the UK store, but through this true shop, basically that was, in that sale, 42 pounds. And that was on sale. So the full price for that is 50 pounds. I don't know if it's cotton or a lot of material. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why. Like, it's a shocker. And the second most expensive item in the haul was the shoes. That was on sale half price, though. Like, that was half price. I don't know why. And then the backpack was sort of a close third to that second. And again, that was a, you know, a significant discount. But yeah, the dresses were actually all under 30 pounds. I just don't get why the pants were so expensive. Maybe it's because it's from a newer collection and they tend to sort of milk it a little bit on newer collections even if there is a sale on. So yeah, there you go. Inexplicable. If you have any other theories on that, do let me know. I hope you have a pleasant time of day wherever you are and greetings and salutations too.